We are here in lovely Acton and at a place called The Kitchen and we've just recorded no other but the fabulous P.V. Ellis and if you don't know who P.V. Ellis is, he's a legendary jazz funk saxophonist who most people probably know with his work with James Brown and he was sort of the pivotal funk band in the mid 60s he was in that band and he was also the MD for a while um, and swapped that role quite a bit with um, Macy Park and Fred Wesley and he co-wrote some of those super Massive funky hits, I think Cold Sweat, I'm not sure, but some of those tunes he, he co wrote with James Brown. So he's a living legend. And the reason why I wanted to work with him was or having on the album because it's a what I call a legacy the project. Because guys like him, they wrote the book. The music we play, I play, I write jazz, funk, uh, especially the funk side of things. He wrote the book for it. But what, what these guys have come up with was brand new in the mid 60s and anyone that plays a horn today or plays tenor saxophone or even plays the music will kind of by proxy have been touched by what these guys have created and to actually meet the guys for me is as important as the music the music is super important and he's an amazing musician I love his tone I love like all the experience all the gigs he's done when he plays his horn his whole life experiences and then sound of the horn but I equally like to just meet him as a person and go, wow, this guy has been around the block and he's in his early 70s now. He's still playing and just to get a vibe of his presence. I've seen him many times many times in concert. Actually, when, when they had this massive comeback, um, the JBs in the early 90s, I was Fred, Fred Wesley, Maceo Parker and him. And they came back and the, somebody, I think some German promoter, put him on a train with the instruments and just carted him through uh, continental Europe to play gigs. And I saw them, I think, probably 1990, 1991 at the Rock House in Salzburg. Uh, and I was completely blown away. I mean, these guys were our heroes. And that's, uh, wow, 99, well, pfft, that's what, 24 years, 23 years ago? And now to make, to still, for me to still make jazz funk and then meet a guy like him, like PV right there, and he's playing on a record, feels really good. Feels like, you know, great, I'm meeting my heroes. Um, so it's uh, very satisfactory. And it's also good for people, for younger generations, you know, younger generations, uh, the generation before me now, to see guys like him. And, and that we also like remember their names and the people who gave us the style. So I, I'm totally happy with them. I'm thrilled with the whole thing. Um, yeah, legacy project they call it. And, um,